Hey everyone, welcome to Play Hooky with me. My name is Roz, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to do a simple scallop border using double crochets. This is a continuation of a video where I shared how to do an African flower square, and some of you asked how to do the border for this blanket. But you do not need to use this square to make this border. This can easily be adapted to whatever project you're working on. There are some timestamps in the description box below, as well as chapters along the progress line, so you can skip to your point of interest. If you're interested in more info regarding this blanket, you can find that information in the description box, and I'm going to talk very briefly on how I handled this little border here before the tutorial. But if you're not interested in this little edge here, just go ahead and skip to the scallop tutorial. I'll add a timestamp right here. Okay, I think that's about it, so let's play some hooky. If you are working on this African flower square, I did half double crochets all the way around. And then when I came to the corner here, I did half double crochets in the top of those first three uh, half doubles in the corner, added a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet for the corner, and then continued on with half double crochets on the other side. For the sides, I didn't do anything special. I just went ahead and did half double crochets in the corners of each of these squares, and that worked really well with the tension. I didn't have any issues with uh, being too loose or being too tight. Okay, before we get started on the scallop, I'm just going to tell you what we're going to do and then I'll show you. So what I like to do is I like to do a border of single crochets before I create the scallop. This way you can't see where I'm skipping and joining. For me, it just makes it look more aesthetically pleasing, but it's totally optional. You don't have to do that. And then for the scallop, I'm going to be using seven double crochets for each of these scallops. You may find that you only need five. Play with this and see what you like more. And then we're going to be joining them with single crochets. Okay, to get started, I'm just going to do a row or a round of single crochets all the way around. I'm starting with a slip knot on my hook. This is going to serve as my first single crochet. Just going to go in, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and that's my first single crochet. And now I'm just going to go along all the way around. I always mention this when I'm working on edges, but when you're doing your single crochet border, this is a great time to deal with tension issues. If you've finished your blanket and you find that it's rippling a little bit, you can control that or tighten it back up by reducing your single crochets as you go around. On the other hand, if you're finding that your edge is very tight and you need to relax it a little bit because it's puckering, then just add two stitches into one every now and again. I'm coming to my corner and for this particular square, it was three half doubles, a chain two, and then three half doubles. So I'm just going to go into these three on the side here. One, two, three. For my corner, I decided to do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. You may prefer two in between there. It's completely up to you and then just continued on with my single crochets on the side. I'm coming to a join here. I just do a single crochet in each corner. And then continue on. Okay, getting ready to do the scallop portion. I really love this scallop, it's very forgiving, especially if you start with a single crochet border in the same color. This is going to camouflage a lot of the work that you do. And this is important because I don't bother with counting stitches here, primarily because I really want to have a scallop on the corners, so I have to fudge things a little bit to do that each time, and I'll show you what I mean as we get there. And now what we're going to do to build our scallops is we're going to skip one, and then in the next stitch we're going to build our scallop, skip one, and secure our scallop down. So I've already started with my first single crochet. 
I'm skipping one and now in this next stitch I'm going to do seven double crochets. You may prefer five, play with it and see what you like better. You may even like three, it really depends on the project that you're working on. So I'm going to skip a stitch and do seven double crochets. One. Two and seven. Okay, skip a stitch, moving into the next stitch after, yarn over, pull through, and create a single crochet to secure your scallop. Now, you may prefer doing slip stitches instead of single crochets. That is totally fine. Again, you can play with it and see what you think. I prefer the single crochet just because I wanted a softer scallop happening. Okay, and now I'm just going to skip a stitch and do my next seven double crochets. Seven, skip the stitch. Fasten it with a single crochet. Skip. And do seven doubles. We're getting closer to the corner now. So I've reached my first corner and this is what I mean about fudging. If I was to do this with the proper math that I just did, I would skip this stitch single crochet here, skip this stitch, and then do my double crochet clusters here in this stitch, right? But I really want to work in this corner. I've played with a couple of different ways and this time I'm just going to skip two and do my single crochet. Okay, and now I'm going to skip and go into my corner and do my seven. We'll see how that looks. I'm going to skip one and secure as normal. And that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to continue on. Okay, skip one and then continue on as you were. Here we are again, we're nearing a corner and I have further to go than I did last time. So I can see here it's too far away to omit a scallop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a smaller scallop before I build the bigger scallop here. So what I'm going to do here, and I'm just going to try it and see if it works, is I'm just instead of skipping one to build my next scallop, I'm going to do it right in that next stitch and I'm only going to do five to see if that will help me get to that corner smoothly. For anyone that is a bit OCD, I'm sorry, you're probably cringing watching this, but I just want to show you how forgiving this is. One, two, three, four, five. Now I am going to skip that stitch and go in there with a single. There we go, we've secured it. Okay, I think that's going to work. So now I'm going to skip that stitch, go into my corner with my seven, Okay, and then skip as normal, single crochet to fasten it down. And that's laying well for me, so I'm going to leave it like that. I like that when you have a huge blanket, this is not going to be as eye-catching as it is here, but for me, I'm very satisfied with that. I just want these corners to have the scallops. Coming to the finish line here, and I have to do some fudging again to get to the beginning scallop here. This will vary for all of us at the end here, and what I decided to do, I tried a couple of different things, and what I found I liked best was just to work in two stitches this time to still give a scallop, but to spread it out just a little bit. So I've done my scallop, I've done my secure with a single crochet, so I'm going to skip as normal, just skip one, and then I'm going to do three or four in one stitch. Now in the next stitch I'm going to do three more. I just did four in that first one. And now I'm just going to go ahead and skip two and slip stitch into that beginning single crochet. And call that good. 
Okay, I hope you got something out of this video. I really just wanted to show you how you could adapt the scallops to meet your needs, but you may have watched this and thought, oh no, Roz, I can't stand how much you have to just kind of wing it. Uh, and if you feel that way, then certainly ignore this and just stick with the count, which would be your double crochet cluster or scallops, skip one, single crochet, skip one, and then create your cluster all the way around. If you're interested in learning more about this pattern, I'll leave a link here so you can check that out.